Let's start off with a tour of the interface and how it works. We've already gone past the front page of the website by searching for a book in the 40 topic model. In this case, A Broader Elementary Education by J.P. Gorey. All of the books that we'll be looking at today have been carved out of the Hathi Trust collection by us here at Info. The particular books in this set are 1,315 books related to psychology that have been retrieved by way of a keyword search within Hathi Trust. So back to the program. There are a lot of colors and buttons, and this can be overwhelming at first. However, throughout this whole video, remember that we're looking for context. Though this type of program is known as a topic model, it can be helpful to think of it as a context model. I'll explain why in just a moment. Taking a look at all of these colors, we can see that the ones in the bars correspond to the ones over here on the side. Let's break it down piece by piece. These bars represent books. Right now, the books are sorted top to bottom based on which are most similar to the original book. You can see which of the books they represent by looking at the names on them. You might notice that the Gordy book is represented twice. This is because there are two different scans of it in the Hathi Trust database, which could be useful if you're looking for different editions of the same book. More importantly, you can see which topics are represented with the highest probability by looking at how much of each color is present in each bar. Our first book, for example, has a high probability of being in the context of topics 3 and 11. Topic 3 is loaded with mostly generic words, but let's look at topic 11, for which the words child, teacher, children, words, study, etc. have the highest probability. These are all related to ideas that we can tell are important parts of the book because of their high probability of that topic being represented in the book. Notice that these other books about education also have a high probability of occurring in the context of topic 11. You can think of the Topic Explorer like an advanced bookshelf. Here we see that we have all of the books that are related to each other, just like a normal bookshelf would be in a library. It's advanced, though, because of what else it can do, and this is what makes the topic model so special. It's like being able to look at a book using many different factors, not just the overall mixture of topics. To show you this, I'm going to scroll down and check the box next to Normalize Topic Bars in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. In this context, normalizing means switching the lengths of the bars so that you can see the probabilities of each topic on the same scale, not just as a proportion of the measure of overall similarity to the original book. Once we've normalized, it's clear to see that some of the books have a greater overall proportion assigned to the context of topic three than our original book. Now, I'm going to switch this bookshelf around and look at books in a different context. The context specifically of topic 33. We can see that these books, which appear to be thematically about some sort of educational principle, also have a relatively high probability of appearing in the context of this topic, 33, which has the highest probability assigned to the words man, life, nature, human, mind, power. This is very different from some of the other topics. I've chosen topic 33 because it's an interesting topic. It's still fairly important in our original book, but it's not equally represented in all of the books that are most similar to it. Let's recontextualize. To do this, we're first going to click on the small Topic 33 square. Note that we could also do this by clicking on the area that represents Topic 33 in the document bars themselves. Now that we've recontextualized by Topic 33, notice that our original book has dropped down on the list. We're looking at the same set of books, but within the set of books that's most similar to the Gordy book, we're now seeing the documents in order from greatest to least proportion of topic 33. Then we'll scroll down and click on the button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen that reads top documents for topic 33. We can see that when we do this, we pull up a whole new set of books. These are the books out of all of those that are in the collection that have the highest probability of being contextualized with the words that I mentioned before we're in topic 33. Man, life, nature. Notice that this new set of books has much more to do with aspects of morality than education. And this is why we call it the hypershelf, because you can explore many different arrangements of the books by changing what the shelf looks like and the topics and books that it focuses on.